I was in a bad mood already. He's been in about three minutes and he's in a bad mood getting stressed. If you can't hack it, leave. What's the matter with you? No, I'm just saying. It's been... I was meant to enjoy last Saturday off and I didn't. Why not? Why is that our fault? Cos you weren't here? Just cos... I don't know, but... <laughs> Are you not in the Christmas spirit? Why didn't you enjoy last Christmas. Saturday? What, what did you I do? Went, you I went, right, I went all the way back up north again, right, because, uh, it was Suzanne's dad's birthday, right? I was busy last week, didn't have time to get him a present or anything. Didn't have time to get him a present. So I got to Euston Station, bought a card for him, which was a Christmas card, so he wasn't happy because he was saying it's my birthday and I said, well, I won't be seeing you again. So I've got a joint card and then we went out- Didn't you get him a present? Well, no, because we went out on Saturday night for something to eat at this pub that he likes. It's a nice steak and onion mm -hmm. rings, mm -hmm. right? Lovely. So, he should have been happy anyway. Yeah. But- <laughs> Well, you paid for it. No, no. But he should have been happy anyway. Suzanne paid for that, because it is her dad, uh -huh. right, not mine. So I said, all right, what, what, what can I do? I said to her. So she said, just buy a few drinks or something. Anyway, I didn't get around to getting drinks. I can't believe it. Didn't get around to getting the drinks. Right, so right. I said, right, I'll pay for the cab. Right? Oh, what a lovely Christmas gift that is. Yeah, so £2.50. I paid, no, it in, was like in three, quid there, three quid back. Oh. So six quid you spent on him? Well, no, I spent more, you see, that's what he said. He you said, get the oh. Bolton and back, can't he you, said, for that? He said, oh, you've spent on me six quid for my birthday. I said, no, I haven't, because I gave the taxi driver a tip. I'm a little bit worried about his attitude as well. Because <laughs> even if, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is a stingy present, but you don't go, you don't well, say- Well, that's, I mean, let's be honest, that's the worst Christmas gift ever, because, oh. I mean, you're pretty bad, like we discussed in the past, but at least you spend a bit of money. Yeah. It's just thoughtless. Yeah. This is nothing. I know. You haven't given him any time. I mean, I would- And I knew, and I knew my, my demographic. They loved it, oh, my yeah, family. You, yeah, the they couldn't believe their luck. <laughs> you know. Well, a tenner. You spent a tenner on him? Well, the cab fare was six quid. But, but, but the thing is, he doesn't, it's not a, I don't think he's saying that. I think it's the fact that this is like, you know, frittering away and well, I'd like, he would, he would have loved to, I'm sure he would have been appreciative of a lovely ten pound gift that you cared about and bought, a book he probably likes fly fishing, doesn't he, by J.R. Hartley. Mm -hmm. If you'd have bought that, he'd have gone, that's what I was looking for. Well. Or E, what I was looking for, Carl. <laughs> e, bloody hell, Carl, <laughs> you little bald twat. <laughs> that's just what I wanted. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, so just calm just down. Think, so what have you got planned for, uh, for Christmas? Is this what, I mean, have you, are you spent, is you, are you doing the same Oh, Carl, Susan? excellent. You've paid me milk bill for this week. <laughs> that were re nice. I'm spent this year. So what, have you planned anything for Suzanne or are you just- Yeah, gonna... I'm taking her out Christmas Day for something to eat. Well, right. don't, does she know that? Is that, was that- She's the... working today, so she, do, she, you know, so- Right, okay. So what Christmas gift have you got? That's it, I'm taking her out. What, you haven't got, you haven't got a present? No, because we spent a lot. Don't forget that's half yours, though. You're going to be. Eating, you're not going to just be sitting there watching her <laughs> eat, going, "Oh, I'm hungry," but I spent all. You're going to be eating as well. That's half yours. So you've got. She's got look at nothing his face. to unwrap. It's it looks like a cat who's but been wait hit. A she's got nothing to unwrap. There's nothing. She's going to hand something over to you because I've met the woman. She will. She'll hand something over. You'll open it. You'll love it. I, I might get something today. <laughs> <laughs> that you shouldn't take me to begrudgingly persuade oh, you to do it. God. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna try and stick in some uh, Christmas songs. We're not playing all Christmas songs, but I brought in a couple. Of, so this is Christmas. John Lennon, yeah, uh, the River, Joni Mitchell, yeah. uh, Fairy Town, New York. One of the best Christmas songs oh. ever. Oh, well, what about a bit of Pretenders? That's a good one. Two thousand miles. Let's hear it. Pretenders, two thousand miles on XFM one hundred four point nine. This sort of Christmas edition. We're not here next week, are we? No. Carl is, aren't you? Well, you are in a way. I was doing the best of, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Is it a best of? Yeah. Brilliant. Have you what? been putting it together? Not yet. Okay. Oh, you wanna get I'll, do it, I'll do it today. Tell right. me what bits you want in it and I'll sort it out. It's not for me All to say, is it? Yeah, what? it is the best stuff. Well, maybe people could email in with their, uh, their, the highlights of the year for them. I'm trying to think what they were. I mean, mostly it'd talking be most, to Carl. It'd be mostly Carl, wouldn't mostly it? Mostly Carl. Gibberish from Carl. Oh, it'd be, I, I think it'd be an awful lot of educating Ricky from Carl. Mm. Mm. Well, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk if you've got any thoughts on uh, stuff you'd like to hear <laughs> again. I Is there any, uh, anything you'd like to hear of Carl saying something stupid, me and Steve laughing or slapping him? Yeah. That's basically the competition, yeah. isn't well, it? Well, there's a couple of instances where I tried to kiss him, I think, and you encouraged me. Yeah. Those are uh, some highlights for me. Well, just, I, uh, I wish I had a video of that. Yeah, so do I. You mentioned educating Ricky. Uh, yeah. we've only got, do you know we normally have like three instalments? Mm. Yeah. We've only got two today. Why? Why? Just, um... Well, you clearly weren't busy Christmas shopping, so what were you- what's the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, like I say every week, it's a bit of a struggle finding stuff that I can teach you. But, but at the same time, what we have got, we've started the feature, I teased MTV with it, right? Uh, so I thought I'd best start doing it before they get someone like Zane Lowe presenting it or something. Yeah. So, do we need them? 
do we need them? And yeah. you should explain do we need them for those that, that don't like the show. Well, it's, uh, it's sort of education right. about animals and stuff, and if we need them. So, like, uh, David Attenborough once said, uh, you can get rid of people off the earth and it would carry on, there's no problems, but, you know, get rid of a monkey and <laughs> you could have problems on your hands. So, <laughs> Is gonna... that a direct quote from Attenborough's <laughs> current autobiography? It was something, yeah. something like that. I think so, yeah. So, so yeah. what I've done today, right? He always starts having things with, uh, right, so then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he, and he always ends things, you got yourself all, quite, all sorts of problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's that, that's yeah. done, that's, that's coming up. Enjoy that, enjoy so that. I've spoke to a woman about, um, jellyfish. Oh yeah, cos I know you're not a fan. Not a fan of them, so we'll be speaking to Women expert. or jellyfish? It, this is a woman. <laughs> Either. <about> jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be sorting that out before three o'clock, we'll be finding out if we need them. <laughs> 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 that one to bed. He's great, and he's great. And then we've got a Christmas edition of Rockbusters, which oh. I found out yesterday. Go on. Channel 4 have ripped it off. Go on. It's on their, uh, teletext thing. That's what outrageous. Mean? Yeah, on their teletext page, someone said. <coughs> what are they doing then? Like Rockbusters, they're copying the format. You sure they're not copying Blockbusters? No, no, it's, it's, uh, someone said it's a cryptic clue of a band and that, and initials, and you work it out. That is despicable. I mean, right. we should investigate this. So they've, they've, they've fundamentally ripped off the idea of being out, allowed to do a cryptic clue to guess a band. Yeah, but they, they sort of clever cryptic clues. <laughs> well, oh, they so did, they, 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 they ripped you off then, <laughs> haven't they? <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. Hey, so. I should just point out, because it's Christmas time, we've had an email from Dickie Anderson. Whee! Oh, Dickers! Uh, yeah, R.A. is, uh, well, he's, 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 I suppose he's a long-time listener. Yeah. Um, and he emails us most, uh, most weeks. Uh, Ricky. If, as I suspect, I'm your only listener, I wouldn't bother with your show today, as I've got to attend some family Christmas nonsense at Auntie Marion's house. <laughs> okay, That's from great. Dickie Anderson, and, uh, he's, he's good because considering he hates the show and, uh, everything we stand for, he does, he does take the time to email every week. That we counts, that counts to advertisers. Yeah. I think we've got a lot like him. Mm. Mm. As we've also had a lovely Christmas card here from Alexandra, right? Who's, uh, wishes, lo she loves the show, she loves you, Carl, and she's enclosed some biscuits, biscuits for you to save you a bit of money, cos she knows you goes out and get your, your own biscuits, then no, we've got some, a lovely little it. packet of Fox's well, why don't creations. you wrap them up and you can give them to your <laughs> <Yeah>. girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Don and Blitzen from the About a Boy soundtrack by Badly Drawn Boy. Christmas, Christmas theme there, boy. Christmas yeah. theme there. You spotted the Christmas theme? Yeah. Carl's not really in festive mood, but, uh... I can't imagine Christmas is your time of year, is it, Carl? Well, I'm not sure any time of the year is, really. I liked it when I was about... I think when I was about seven I enjoyed it. Mm. Was that the like, one? Was that the year, the big year for you? You get loads of stuff, you don't have to worry about anyone else, but once you've, like, got a job... What did you get when you... When, when were you doing your paper round? How old were you then? I was about, uh, thirteen, fourteen. Well, that was you then, you were a man, weren't I you? Had you to, had to, uh, yeah, I had to buy stuff. Oh. But you're still not you're having a good time. You're quite a selfish man, aren't you? I didn't realise this. <laughs> no, 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 it's just that Christmas... And that's coming from him, Carl. My dad always said... Oh, right, steady on. <laughs> that's a Christmas morning was for, like, you know, for me, so he used to stay in bed. Mm. So he, ne he never- That's that brilliant. That's a great thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Christmas morning's for you. <laughs> Run wild. Do what you want. Just yeah, don't so, bother so me. I'm going to Honolulu for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Dad, it's Christmas. Do I have to do anything? No. So my mum used to get up, cause she used to like to see my face light up, you know, when I, when I opened my presents. And then, uh... <laughs> to keep the fireworks. And then, uh... <laughs> then I'd have to go to my bedroom from about six o'clock onwards, cos, like, my mum and dad were into having big Christmas parties, and I wasn't, like, old enough to go. Right. So they'd say, right, you know, you've had your fun there, you go up to your bedroom, stay in there. <laughs> and, really? Yeah, I remember one year, right, I got, got a train set, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Right? It's brilliant. Uh, playing with it all day. I thought, I don't mind about the party, I'm happy staying up here, playing with this. Brother comes in. He's had a few, right? He's going, yeah, give us a go on your train. How old is he? He's, he's a bit older than me, so he, he might have been like, uh, let's see. Well, let, me, let him be 18. About, yeah, probably about 18, 19, and something like you? that. I was, well, I had a train set, so, I don't know, about- 14. <laughs> something like that, yeah. right? So, uh, so I'm playing on that, loving it and stuff, and then he comes in and goes, oh, give us a go. He turns the transformer up to, like, 14. He went really fast for about five seconds. Broke it, and then he went back downstairs. 
Wow. So Christmas Iron in Guts Sounds Christmas like Day. Sounds like the, uh, Conservative government with, uh, British Rail. Satire, <laughs> Sat no, Rick, well. I just thought that then, sat satire. It's there's any satirical it's, it's shows this in or it doesn't, work, it doesn't work in any way, cos there's, 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 the analogy falls down no. apart from there being a train. Think it through, though, British Rail was trains. <laughs> yeah. And the government broke the trains in many ways. They didn't break them, like, not officially breaking them, but they kind oh, of- yeah. it, yeah, it does work, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty pleased with that. And I can't- and, and no one's asked him to be on Have I Got News For You. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Cos it, it is- strange, that. <laughs> yeah. When you've got a satirical mind that that's, that's as quick as that. Yeah. All and right. it's broke your little train set. So what did you do? I just, like, watched telly and had some sausages. <laughs> I bet you were happy with that, though, weren't you? Uh, it's a bit annoying, though, isn't it, when your main present of the year's been broke. And, and then, did, it, uh, did it ever get it fixed? No, that was it. That was it. Put away. I'm intrigued why your parents wouldn't let you come and join in the festive fun. Was because it like really debauched down there? Was it like eggnog nah, everywhere? Well, no, but I mean, that's fair enough. Six seems a little bit early, but I just think, you know, if you're your kid, you, you, you know, he had those fun, put him to bed, put him to bed at eight, maybe. <laughs> and he you think so on Christmas Day? I thought that was a day for family. Well, not if there's a party going on. And well, I don't have the party on the Christmas Day, is Well, that's, that's, that's another option. Yeah. yeah. Your parents are weird, aren't they? A strange breed. Well, I think that was the year, right? I, uh, <laughs> you're talking about buying presents and stuff. I think I did treat my mum to- I didn't buy my dad anything. I think that was, like, when I got a bit older, he used to get me dad something, cos he wasn't that bothered anyway. No. Mm. So, uh, got me mum, uh, it was a cheap shop. Right. Of course. Uh, Thank God for that. Called Snips. Right? <laughs> so I went in there and I thought, let's see what I can get her. And remember, uh, Victoria Plum? I don't think so. Well, it's like a, a fairy character. Right. Right. I mean, mum's into gnomes <laughs> and stuff, right? So <laughs> I thought, right. She must be pleased with you then. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, so, Victoria uh, Plum. I was thinking, is that one of the neighbours? Is it? Is it like a brandy? Yeah, do you remember Victoria Plum? Victoria Plum. Victoria Plum. Yeah, it's like a little fictional sort of character. Right? Okay. Okay. So, uh, so I saw it. I thought, yeah, she'll love that. Right. So I did my paper round, saved up for two weeks. Right. Aww. Got that sorted. Went to Snips, bought the uh, Victoria Plum. Next day, I'm in. I'm in town with her. Right. So I think, ah, oh, I know what I'll do. I said, come, come in here a minute. Right. Uh, so we go in and we're looking around and I tested her, right? I went, look at that there, that's all right, isn't it? And she goes, oh, it's bloody awful. <sighs> oh, Carl. <laughs> oh, Carl. I just, I, I, oh, God. So then Christmas Day comes I said, oh. don't bother opening it. She said, no, no, why? Said, oh, no, why don't you still give it to her? So, well, it's too late, I'd already bought it. Oh, Carl. So she opened it and I was like, <sighs> and she said, oh, that's nice. I said, why are you saying that? I said, the other day, so it's bloody awful. She said, oh no, I thought you were pointing at something else. Oh <laughs> no! So that's why I don't get anyone anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Play record! Oh God! Oh! That was good, isn't it? What about? Gold Rush. Let you down. I'm, I'm actually quite affected by Carl's Victoria Plum scenario. Just the fact that, like that, that eagerness, he, he wants to make sure it's a great present, he's saved up his paper round, he thinks it's like a gnome, but modern. I'm worried that you're using it as an excuse now, and that's why you're not buying anyone any gifts, cos you've had your fingers burned once. I mean, you were six, seven years old, to be fair. No, you weren't. You were about thirteen, weren't you, if you're doing your paper round? Yeah, I, I oh, must, right. have been, must have been, yeah, eleven or twelve then. All right. Yeah, so I'd, I'd saved up. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not using it as a thing, it's just that- What do you get your mum this year? Um, I've sent them some money so they can, uh, get a passport. So they can get a passport? <laughs> what, what do you, are where they are, are they? Immigrants? Are they trapped no, somewhere? <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're in a holding bay yeah. somewhere in Dover. Yeah, yeah they've got a friend who's a truck driver who's gonna <laughs> sneak them across. <laughs> for what year. do you mean? <laughs> so they can buy a passport, what do they do, sell it when they were no, a bit- they were <laughs> down in their luck? <laughs> No, they, they haven't got that much money, right? They've never been abroad, and the mate said they might, er, uh, tack them next year, and they said, oh, we haven't got a passport, so you I thought- You haven't got to buy a passport, have you? Cos you're not your God-given right as an Englishman. No, you've got to pay for them, they're thirty quid each, so you better add to, otherwise they're conning me. Right. <laughs> they so you send them sixty quid? You get born with a passport, of course you You send them sixty quid in an envelope, awesome. have you? Well, check. Right. Yeah. I love that. In it, 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 it'll, uh, if you're watching Teddy and uh, France will come on and they go, oh, what do you think of that? She goes, it looks bloody awful. <laughs> yeah, go, oh, don't, don't open it. No. Don't open it. <laughs> don't open it. So oh. you've not, you've not paid for a holiday for them. You, you, you. No, you've just sorted out the. Well, it's it's the better prize, isn't it? Because they can't go anywhere <laughs> without it. Well, the passport <laughs> keeps on giving. Yeah, it's so, ten years, ten years. That yeah. that is yeah.
So, but no, I never used to, I mean, I can't <laughs> think of other things. I used to get me dad once, once I started getting him stuff, it used, sort of used to be a uh, dressing gown. Yeah. And then, but as an extra surprise, I used to put like a cigar in the pocket, so he'd think that was it. Yeah. Then he'd put it on and put his hand in the pocket. Right. And then he'd just this? hit you because he thought you'd nicked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, dear. So you bought uh, him a jacket with a cigar? That's quite thoughtful. Yeah. Did you sneak a cigar once on yeah, Christmas? Yeah. Well, it was when, that's when they used to have like the big do's, like I say. You know, they were, they were known for it. Like the, f the whole estate used to know that. You know, we were having a party. Yeah. So, uh, so they'd all come round. So they'd all come round and just have food and drink yeah. and that. And oh, pocket, oh, yeah, I can't ornaments. imagine. I cannot imagine how unpleasant that must Awful. have been. Awful. Awful. And you yeah. locked in your bedroom with a broken train set. Yeah. And, and looking at Victoria Plum, <laughs> yeah. whatever that was. In the bin. Oh, in the bin, yeah. <laughs> and hear a mum saying, and he got me this. And he got it, me this isn't piece shit? of rubbish. He could hear him just throwing it against the yeah. wall and, and all, laughing. And all the neighbours laughing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you'd come down and just be in pieces with loads of spit on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just loads just of garb on it. Eyes. And all the Polaroids of them just like laughing at yeah, him and pointing. stamping on it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, so, just brought uh, all the flooding back. But no, no, I used to get up in the morning and then like, they'd still, still sort of all be there asleep on the floor and on the sofa. And oh, like. oh, that's awful. Oh. That's terrible. Christmas is surely the one day a year which is a family thing, it's for the kids, they're the ones no, that No, that, that was Boxing Day. Well, I know. Oh, that's all right. It's not <laughs> <a Saturday. laughs> it's over. Yeah. Back Christmas on the bike. Over. All right. You, 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 yeah. who's, who's gonna pay for this? What, me? Yes, Carl. <laughs> yeah. You're doing two rounds today. I'll yeah, what's your paper round supporting the entire family? <laughs> yeah. No, so, so I used to get up and like go downstairs and they'd be asleep so I'd be mooching about trying to find like another present that's still working. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So, uh, so, I yeah. love the idea that these people from the estate had like <laughs> squashed his presents. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I found a cigar that had been sort of lit up and then put out, so I thought, oh, I'll have a go at that. Yeah. I went outside and had a go and that's the last time I smoked. Right. Sort of, I tried it, I thought, I don't like that. I love the fact that he does everything once. Yeah. In yeah. his life. It's, like, it's a line of, I've done everything once, I don't need to do it again. Yeah. Oh, dear. You know, I've, I've said in the past to you, Rick, that my grandparents, so I love them dearly, but it's like, for the last thirty years, they've been waiting to die. I know, It's yeah. like they just sort of, it's like, you know, the novelty wore off of like, you know, just, <laughs> life in the fifties. Yeah, got kind of bored of it. Like, yeah, in the forties <laughs> it was brilliant, all sat around the old Joannas, the Bond <laughs> yeah. style, singing, they loved that. In the fifties, you know, that was great as well, because that was the post-war years, it was, you know, it was a bit tight in the pocket, but it was alright, everyone pulled together. And then the sixties came along, all the crazy music, the let's, funny hair. Let's stay in bed. They, they, exactly, and they basically stayed in bed. And, uh, it was one Christmas when, um, my, my, my grandmother said to my dad, uh, what do you like for Christmas? What, what do you fancy for Christmas? And, uh, this must have been, I don't know, twenty years ago? She said, uh, what do you, uh, what do you fancy for Christmas, Ron? And he went, well, you know, I could do with a nice big kind of warm winter overcoat. She said, don't worry about that. He said, don't worry about that, because your father will be dead soon. It's right, you can have his. Meaning my granddad. Well, to be honest with you, my father's still waiting. <laughs> Which is good news. Good news for my grandfather. <laughs> Less good news for he's my freezing. dad. He's freezing. freezing. He's freezing. How, he runs out, how is he today? He's yeah. fine. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, I'm freezing. It is very, it's such a weird a mindset, that. I think it's that, to me, is what sums up people from that older generation, the 40s and 50s. And it seems to me that you've got that kind of mindset. It's like you were born in the 30s. And whenever you talk of your childhood, it's like you had, like, a baked I potato to take well, to I, school. I, uh, and no, a hoop I, and a stick as a Christmas The gift. other thing is, I think that it, 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 that sort of generation, it, it seems that the man is dependent on the woman. Mm. There's a total dependence. Oh, absolutely, if, yeah. If she dies, he's done. Yes. He's yes. done for. Yeah. It, it just pine away. If he dies, she's got thirty years of pottering. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and going yeah. to like you know uh, the, the youth club and the yeah, church. I know what you mean, yeah. It, it's sort of like that. It's it, it's, sad, it's sad. Of course, it's sad for them, but it's so not the end of their life. No, sure. And it sort of is the other way around. I, I don't know, know why that is. Yeah. it's terrible. That's a little melancholy thought for. Uh, I know. I've really time. brought it. You brought it down. You've brought it down. I've brought it. This isn't a nice show at all. This is terrible. Well, I We're gonna have really people just it's killing themselves. Uh, what? Well, I, d I didn't really want to make it a Christmassy type show because I don't, you don't really like it. Oh, he's done it again. Well, he did Christmas once, didn't like it. No, it's just Play a record. I'm, not, I'm not religious or anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, what are you? You're not anything. <laughs> <laughs>
Teenage Fan Club from the XFM Christmas album, and that's Christmas Eve. Their guitar sounds are just brilliant. They're just always so nice. All right, Carl, do you like that? Do you like Teenage Fan Club? Yeah, yeah, they're good. They're good. Carl, I feel like you've never kind of enjoyed the wonder of Christmas. I don't think I can't ever get the sense. Maybe except when you were very, very young. You know that kind of bright-eyed, you know, thinking of Santa. You know, kind of um, landing on the roof and coming down the chimney and drinking the, the sherry or whatever. Well, I like, I like the idea of it. Right? Sure. The, the sort of, you know. Uh, I used to like, I used to get a couple of annuals every year, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so did I, yeah. And I was allowed to open one on Christmas Eve. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, just, yeah, so. <laughs> so they could throw it on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think, I think the, uh, it is well, like, it's through, <laughs> do the words so you, yeah, yeah. I think they're to light a cigar off the <laughs> cooker. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, listen, um, a good friend of ours, Ross Noble, he's comedian, brilliant. Uh, he's given me this picture, Carl, which he's got from a magazine. He loves you. He and I have to you. say, I think this. <laughs> I'll just lose it then. <laughs> well, I, oh. I'm, obviously, it's not going to mean much to the listener. Oh, this is but it is currently but available. I'm... I think it's in the current edition of Bizarre magazine, so um, you might want to buy it. It's not horrible, a, though, is it? it, it, it there's, so, there's a certain grotesqueness about it. Oh, it's, a, de think it's I, a deformed person, but, isn't it? Well, to a degree, but I think what it's going to do for Carl is give him, I think, just, I think for you and I, Rick, we're yeah. going to see his face. <laughs> light up. Brighten up. Oh. Lighten up. Like opening a, a wonderful Christmas gift. Oh, you know what? I think I've seen this. Is this the one with the kid with the big head? I'll be honest with you, Carl, it is. Have you seen it already? Yeah. Let me just show it to you again so you can kind of- Let me have a look. Like it's like I haven't seen it. It's like- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We shouldn't be laughing at that. No, but that is like the kid who I went to school with. <laughs> <laughs> that is the same. That can't be the so same. So do you recognise him? Seriously, that- that- that is the same <laughs> thing, Yad. I mean, oh, I have to say, oh, it does look sure. like it's been computer generated, it's so odd. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Um, but look at the, the chart's face. I look know. Look reaction. I... Don't take another photo of me. I'm, I'm not sure this is right. It's not right, it's not right. But I just, I was hoping that that would give you, Carl, just a little glimpse of, uh, We've had a request as well on the, the, the best bits to someone wants to hear you talking about your mates with the big heads. <laughs> I don't oh. believe it, because every time we go there, I get, we get some sort of complaint about something. It's about what? Believe it. Well, it, that, for some reason, that always goes from the story with my dad going to Blackpool for <laughs> taking those kids there. And yeah. what kids? And, uh, for, leave it. No, no, what, what? No, I don't, no, there's people well, that know what you're talking I'll about. I'll tell you when we put a song on. No, well, I know what it is. Well, well, you can't you just say that. Well, is it when? In, is in. it okay? Is it when your dad put a kid in the wheelie bin because <laughs> yeah. he was getting out of hand? Yeah. So well, we're gonna we begin. can't go through it we're again. Gonna, uh, it is too controversial. <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> what's the name? No, well, the f thing is right. You were just saying about what are you about Christmas? <laughs> That's the funny thing, right? Because in our house, there's no one who's religious, right? No. no. My dad got annoyed when <laughs> I went to church that day. He was like, "What are you doing that for?" Of course. I went to see a gig in Liverpool. Remember the band, the Christians? Yeah. He thought I'd join some club. Yeah. I said, I've been to see the Christians. He was saying to me, man, what, what's he doing going out with them? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, <laughs> the other thing is, because I'm not christened or anything, my mum used to say to me, don't tell anyone that, because there's witches and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I want it. I want to go back and see his upbringing. I really, yeah. I just want to go back and see him at seven. One day, one day in the life of Carl, just, eight, seven. Just have three just ghosts it. visit him tonight <laughs> and take him back through time. But uh, we could go with him. We go, well, we can meet some of the ghosts. Yeah, so the just ghosts like, of Christmas past. Oh, remember this? That's, a ma that's oh. incredible. Because so there's so witches. <laughs> don't tell so what, just she thought, more? so she was invisible. She thought maybe someone could take his soul because well, you weren't Christian. It's like, uh, <laughs> There's, there's cults <coughs> and that, isn't there? And if they find out you're not christened, then right. you're, so I don't sugar. think they care. I don't think a lot yeah. of cults care. Well, but, but what can they do if you're if if you're not Christian? I don't, I don't know. What, I what just what said all right because then through that time there must have been a time when. But hold on, was a now problem. they know. Yeah, but I'm older now, so I'm all right. She used to worry about me playing out on the street. Oh, she was that. worried about when you were naive and stupid and easily led. Well, yeah. yeah. No, so, no, no, <laughs> good point. No, you're right now, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, good. Rockbusters. Well, Rockbusters. Well, tell the prizes, Steve. Yeah, tell we have a Christmas some, uh, gift. This is Christmas, Christmas gifts. I don't know if you'll receive them in time to actually pass them off as gifts. I uh, wonder if I can tell that, um, uh, Ross Noble story. That he told us. I don't know. We'll have to Would discuss that when the record's play. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so you heard a track from it just then. It's the XFM Christmas album. I think that's been knocking around here in the office for years, hasn't it, Carl? Um, or is it new this year? It was brought out about two years ago, okay. but Christmas <laughs> songs are 
Christmas Bandy songs, Christmas songs. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got bands on there like the Dandy Warhols, The Web Brothers are on there, Drugstore, Ben and Sebastian, Flaming Lips, all sorts. So we've got that to give away. We've also got this, um, Smashing Pumpkins compilation, which we seem, again, we, that seems to be knocking around for weeks. Another one of those 50 years of the greatest hit singles, I don't know, Culture Club's on there, Queen, obviously, I've just Lennon. seen the cult film. Yeah, uh, the, com the cult film will come back to you shortly. This, I think, is one of the most exciting gifts. If you have a video <laughs> player, and you want to get trimmed, then surely Big Brother 3 champion Kate Lawler and her cardio combat video, mm. in which I think she uses kind of, I don't know, military <coughs> kickboxing training to get you trim and taught and looking sure. as good as her, then you can get that as well. We've also got, uh, a exclusive seven-inch single from the White Stripes, a kind of Christmas single. Is that from them? Yeah, yeah. That must be quite rare. That's probably That's the only quite thing. Rare. That is worth something. And, um, the current Badly Drawn Boy album, Have You Fed the Fish, which well, that, I that, think that, is slightly that, mediocre. That, that, they've gone up, actually. I think that the, the level of prices there has gone up. Not a bad selection, but here is the big movie, and actually I have to say this is not a bad one. It's, no, it's, it's not, uh, again, it's not, not terrible at all. It, quite. it could be worse. It's, uh, James Can in the original Rollable, not the disastrous remake that came out no. recently, but, uh, the DVD version of Rollable. So that's there as well. So something fairly interesting. That's gets, worth yeah. winning. Right, come on then. Selection. Let's do Rockbuster. Well, will we play a song to give people time we'll to get a pen and paper on that? Yeah. Yeah. So we're doing it next. Yeah. Uh, Carl Pilkington, the man of the moment with his rockbusters coming your way with all those great prizes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, are we, uh, yeah. we're doing it now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I noticed Heat magazine sort of put a bit of a spanner in the works. Why? Because they were saying, oh, maybe it'll be a Christmas edition of rockbusters. And I'd already sorted them out. I wouldn't worry, Carl. Well, what I've done. I've cleverly tweaked them to make them Christmassy. Oh so the Christmas bit in it has got nothing to do with, with it whatsoever. But I just thought. <laughs> so you mean yeah. the clues have a Christmas element? Well, yeah, but, 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 but it's nothing to do with the answer. Nothing, yeah, it's nothing to do with the answer. Right. <laughs> so why don't you just ask the normal ones and I'll, I'll ring a bell. I'll yeah. shake some bell. Well, well, go it's ho, the ho, ho. of that, but in sort of speech. Right? Brilliant. So the first oh. one. Um, there's a load of letters uh, there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and uh, have a good Christmas. Oh, give it, give it to us again. <laughs> oh God! Right, so there's a load of letters asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and have a good Christmas. Right, right, but bear in mind, people, that the Christmas element may not be relevant no, to these clips. No, I've got nothing to do with it. I don't want to, okay. you know. And the initial letter is F, right? That's F. All right. Right, the second one. <sighs> uh, ask your mum if you should. After you've wrapped the presents. <laughs> right, so ask, ask your mum if you should. Ask your mum if you should after you've wrapped the presents. That's, um, <laughs> that's S. Yes. S. All right. All right. Okay. And the last one, um, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter, but it's busy in there because it's Christmas. <laughs> 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 oh, that's probably what brought it on. So oh. that's, that's B. Right? Oh. B. B. Oh, God. So, they're the, they're the three. Will I just, uh, recap? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, I, I so, have no idea. So I can't even, one. I don't know what to start thinking. I, well. Right, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Have a good Christmas. Uh, have a good Christmas. <laughs> uh, second one, ask your mum if you should. After you write the present. S. And the last one, a couple of people were arguing arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. But it's busy in there because it's, it's Christmas. It's busy because it's Christmas. That's a yeah. B. So they're the three things. It's email only, this one. Uh, please remember that. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Mm. Uh, Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Brilliant. So Carl brilliant. looks happy with them. He yeah, looks really, really happy with them. Really so. They're All cracking. Right. They're good. Yeah, they're good, pleased with so. them. All right. Is right. there going to be more rock, rock buses in the new year? We're not sure. Um, I'm, I'm still, you know, thinking about new ideas mm -hmm. that we can do. Okay. Um, are we starting Ricky Ridiculous today? Have you done? Couldn't be thing? bothered. Couldn't right. be bothered. Couldn't be hard. Look right. forward to Ricky Ridiculous. Well, he's you? worried about. He nearly said asked, and he just stopped because he's yeah, worried because well. he's the producer. Yeah. Well, I've got a set of standard. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, you have, mate. <laughs> you have. So that, that's that. We've still got to come, uh... Oh, I'll tell you what, why don't we have, um, a lovely tune, yeah. right? You make the tea, we're opening these biscuits from Alexandra, yeah. we'll be enjoying that, right? Maybe segue so we can have a nice little, you know, rest, I don't want to talk through it, it'd be rude. And then we're coming back, and as part of, like, Pilkington, Parkinson, <laughs> and do we need them, 
do we need them? <laughs> yeah. Carl has interviewed an expert on, on jellyfish. jellyfish. Brilliant. So we've got that. Plus, of course, we've got two part, a two part educating Ricky. You've got educating Ricky still to come. With a Christmas uh, theme or not? Um. And we've still got no. things like the Pogues, John Lennon, Joni Mitchell, just uh, uh, David Bowie. Are you, are you suggesting there's gonna be some great music and some great fun Great music chat? and some fun chat. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, good. We've got our little biscuits, haven't we? Mm. Yeah, good, We're loving it, aren't we? Yeah. Um, I think I think I can just sum up the station, can't I, Steve? With that just last la <laughs> comment, <laughs> you're probably right. Uh, I just came in. I just went to the toilet there, and uh, um, uh, it's a disabled toilet that's close to it. So uh, you know, you go there. I had a wee. I thought, oh, the thing doesn't work. Didn't flush. I came back. I said, oh, the the toilet doesn't work. Doesn't flush. And uh, Carl went, no, you just stick your hand down and pull the, that wire up at the. <laughs> Think of that. Put your hand in the water. I mean, just when, in the when, water. when David Bowie uh, interviewed Zoe, and come on, yeah, uh, it's torn not flush. He goes, "All right, babe, just stick your hand down, pop the shit down the uh, down the U bend, and just wipe your hands on your pants." <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks very much. I mean, oh. Sums up this station, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Tin pot. Have you ever done this? This is one of my most embarrassing moments. Is co you know, because sometimes you'll see, you'll I'm see. Hey. <laughs> well, I, you'll you'll realise why I was going to say. <laughs> what, <laughs> what happened, Rick? Was I I almost leapt to the end of the story, <laughs> right? But I realised I had to go back a few steps. Yeah. I right. just don't. Have you ever cut? Well, you stop. <laughs> it was going to be coming, but it, but you'll understand in a minute when I finish the story okay. that it's not coming in the traditional sense. All oh, right. Because it also it's followed by coming out of. Oh, sure. All right. Yeah. So- And not your trousers. <laughs> oh, my trousers. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, now, awkward moment, and I should just, you know, if you're Christmas shopping, maybe you're in a big department store, mm. and, um, you see the disabled toilet, and you think to yourself, I can nip in there, I can use that, you know, because mm. it's close to hand, because I've got to wander miles for the regular toilets. I went in there once, in the toilet, you know, da -da -da -da, disabled toilet, just snuck in, came out, disabled person. Furious. That was, but it's really awkward because oh. it's like, because it is like it's their sort of private domain. You know, it's like it's like they're part of an exclusive club. They've not got many perks in life, and that's one of them. And here I was, <laughs> you know, kind of, kind of exploiting it. But they can't. Well, yeah, I suppose they can be annoyed. But, but it what just did you do? Look did you do affect a limp? I do you know. I normally do. <laughs> I often do. I often I've, I've affected a limp many times. Oh. Um, uh, like for instance, yeah, if I take the lift in a building when it's only one flight of stairs. Right, and they know, and I get up on the first floor. I always affect a limp coming out, <laughs> so that justifies why I haven't come up the stairs. <laughs> like, who is it that I'm scared is going to sort of I say know. something? Yeah, but oh uh, dear, that's that's it's the same thing as if someone asks me for directions. I always pretend I'm foreign. I always go, I don't. Um, why do you do that? I can't, because I, I'm just terrified of giving them the wrong directions. And well, then, just now I don't know. I don't live. I don't it. like because I sort of, you know, I feel bad. Because what I used to sort of give directions because I like giving directions. I like helping people out. But then I realised I didn't really know. You hang, used to hang around going, "You all right? Yeah, we're <laughs> fine. Yeah. Do you want to know where to go? I tend to have a go even if I don't know. Exactly. But it's, I'm always terrified they'll come back and find you and go, "You led us yeah. astray." Yeah. So I, now I just affect a foreign accent. <laughs> there was a fellow. Like, there was a fellow the other day about two weeks ago, and I was walking in. Little old woman, little old fella, come up to me, and said, uh, "Where's uh, Wimpole Street?" So I said, uh, oh, "I do know it." So I think it's over there. And then I'm not very good with street names, but I'm good that if you say, "Oh, there's a boot on it," right. do you know what I mean? If there's something near it, I'm, it's like the same with directions. When I, when I used to drive a lot, yeah, or historical facts. I didn't. I don't know like old motorway names, you no. know, like M, uh, M this and M that. Mm. I can never remember that, but my dad used to always say, right, there's a horse in the field, turn right, yeah. and stuff like that. Good stuff, yeah. Um, and it's the same with this fella, they sort of said, you know, <laughs> where's, where's Wimpole Street? And I said, well, what are you after? And he said, no, I'm after some blood. And He's it was a lot, blood. Was, yeah, there's doctors around there, aren't they? So I was like, oh. So that didn't help me. What do you mean he was after some blood? He said, oh, I need some blood. He must have had was an he illness. Bleeding? No, he just must have had, needed some new blood or something. He had some illness. And I was like, you know, I could, if he- if, if Why did he go to the pet shop and get some parrots? No, but- Like that. He didn't have fangs and a cape, did he? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. but do you know what I mean? Oh, that, that didn't help me out. But- What I, if he just said, well, some pile cream, actually? Can you- You go, oh, we, we want boots then? Yeah. I would- he would have been alright. But I didn't know where to start with that. I need some blood. Yeah, That's I just it's over there. Yeah. Just, uh, sort of pointed him away. But so he was- he was <laughs> losing consciousness. <laughs> you said <laughs> him the wrong way. He's <laughs> dragging himself along the pavement. <laughs> Is there blood this way? Uh, get oh. to the gap, she's growing ever deeper. Well, oh. we've got to, uh, we've got to do, uh, Pilkington, haven't we? Do you want to? Yeah. Okay, we should explain this, I think. Well, it's this, cause Carl's new idea for, yeah. um, a TV show. He wants to do, uh, a TV show called Do We Need Him, where he goes round. 
and uh, he talks to experts like David Attenborough, da David Bellamy, maybe Lenny Henry doing David Bellamy. <laughs> right, yeah. If he can't get the real one. Um, and uh, he just picks on an animal that he doesn't really like, doesn't think you need him, and an expert will tell him, uh, if we do, if this is the first instalment. Let, let me put a song on, right? Now we've got them, and then I can set it up okay. and stuff and tell, you know, we could explain, explain, it, explain it and that. Let's do a classic, let's do a big stomp in one of the best Christmas songs of all time, shall we? What are you thinking? Fairy Tale in New York. Excellent. Oh, it's always amazing. Home, Christmas. featuring Christian McCall on XFM 104.9, the Christmas edition. Indeed. Next week, we've had loads of just suggestions, Carl, for, for your best bits. It's basically all your best bits. Me and Steve are largely irrelevant in the, in the voting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, you can compile y your best bits next week and they'll be loving it. We've, we've had a quest for the... The, uh, little Chinese fellow in his pants, a horse in the house, cutting your hair on the railway, railway station. If, I mean, if you haven't heard those stories, <laughs> they, 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 what does that mean? <laughs> the little Chinese woman in your pants, you've got to be tuning in next week to find out what that is. The only thing is, the old, uh, horse in the house was in the last best of. Was it? Yeah. Well, so that, that doesn't stop, what's his name? If you're one of those people that want <laughs> yeah. to see these clips again, yeah. tune yeah. in. Oh, yeah, it'll, be Christmas. it'll be all right. It'll be all right on the night, 84. Yeah, yeah. Someone kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I think things, I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> it's like we said before, who goes to the recording of one of those? There's <laughs> people in the audience. <laughs> yeah. Aren't there? That'd people be like, great. You know, Tickets for it'll be all right on the night. And they laugh at his jokes, but I mean, I, I don't know I what I think how many are. takes it, you know, I mean, I how know. long it takes to record that. The, the, the show's about three hours, so the recording must be about nine. Have you, uh, ever seen Kirsty's home videos on Sky I One? I think so. I think it's, so. uh, it's do Gallagher. dogs falling down slides. It's like, yeah, it's like you've yeah. been framed, but it's- Falling over in a wedding. It's got audience laughter. But I'm assuming it can't be a real audience. I'm assuming it must be, like, no, they just, they, they've lifted, they've laughter. just lifted it from the Flintstones. Yeah. <laughs> they laughed from the Flintstones, yeah. A lot of people forget that the Flintstones had an audience. <laughs> if you, if you watch the Flintstones, there's laughter when Fred does something funny. Yeah. <laughs> the idea of people should be shipped in but we were talking to watch about, a cartoon. I like the idea that some jokes weren't as funny as <laughs> exactly. others. Like the director going, we'll put a laugh on that, and the yeah. going, it's not as funny. I, I think, think Dino, Dino should not get funny. Dino should get a round of applause every time he comes in. He, everyone loves him. The kids love him. Well, he's a well, we're, we're making it up. Yeah, and Barney getting disgruntled because his jokes never get disgruntled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like wise. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. he's like really wise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, anyway, Carl, so here we go. It's oh. a, it's an exciting feature that will, I, I think will be picked up by Channel 5. Uh, it's gonna be Carl Pilkington, Do We Need Him? Where Carl goes around checking out animals with, uh, top experts asking whether we need them in the world. Yeah. So, um, we st yeah, this is the first one. We won't do it next week, but I'm already sorting out the contact. We will be looking at octopus, because they're a bit weird. Okay. So that's, that's what you've got to look forward to in two, you know, in, in, in Again, three. if you have an animal that you <coughs> feel is unnecessary in the world, then email us, and I'm yeah. sure Carl will investigate for you. Well, yeah. the other thing as well, whilst we're on to that, I want to sort of have a bit of research with me. So when I speak to the, like, the bloke or the woman about the octopus, right, um, I want, like, you want to be response. Armed with the facts. Well, sort of response from listeners so I can say, well, 70% of XFM listeners said we should get rid of them. Sure. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Like John Snow does on Channel 4 when he does all, like, <laughs> politics stuff. stuff. Yeah. So, if you agree with me, just send an email mm. saying yes. And what, so, 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 yes, we should get rid of them. Yes, yeah. Or yes, get rid of them. Because you're, you're, you're always, you're, the house believes always we should get rid of these animals. That's, you're picking animals you want to get rid of. So, yes is, get rid of them. No is, don't get rid of well, them. Well, and not no, it's Noah, because they go on the ark. The ones we keep go on the ark. <laughs> that <laughs> element I'd completely forgotten about, and I think that's a wise move, because <laughs> I don't think that's working. I don't think you've thought through the whole Noah. So, and that's just complicating in the show, I think. So, yes, yes, we get rid of them. Noah, they're <laughs> saved on the ark. Yeah. Right, okay, right, so lovely. here we go then. Jellyfish. So, we, uh, we today them? we're looking at jellyfish in Pilkington. <laughs> Talking to uh, to Vicky, who works in an aquarium in in Anglesey, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. Right, brilliant. Uh, today we want to find out if we really need jellyfish. I've got a bit of a problem with them anyway, because because I've been I've been stung by one, and I've done a little bit of research into them. So I'll tell you what I know about them. Okay. Uh, you know, you, you might learn some stuff from me. Oh, well, you never know. And if I'm talking nonsense, just just tell me. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, right. So first of all, they don't have eyes, do they? 
No, they don't. No. Right, so I'm right with that. Uh, no lungs. No lungs. They haven't got a heart. No heart, heartless. And they're made up of, like, 97% water. Yes, they are. So, they're pretty useless, really. Well, they have got a nervous system. Um, they're actually about 650 million years old. So they, they've evolved and they've outlived the dinosaurs and they're even older than the sharks. And they can even outfox us. Um, because NASA scientists have worked with them to try and work out how they, um, operate in weightlessness. And they still don't know how they do that. Took them into space, actually, to figure out how that they did, how they did that. Seems like a bit of a waste of money, but... Yeah. Um... Do you know Port Maddock? I used to go there a lot for my holidays and there used to be a load of them washed up on the beach. Uh, People on motorbikes used to go over them and stuff. Yeah. So, well, we get the ge the moon jellyfish, that's the ones with the... They've got pink bits in the middle. Yeah, that's they're, their they're, reproductive bodies. I think, that, I think that was them. I think they're the ones who went over on the bike because you could yeah. see pink bits. What, what do they do? If the jellyfish went, would would we have a problem on our hands, do you think? Okay. Um, you might have a bit of a knock-on effect because um, things like turtles eat um, jellyfish. Yeah, but do we need turtles? Uh, well, don't forget that when you take out one, when you take out something from the marine system, mm. something normally feeds on it. I mean, they're not just there for the fun of it. Something either feeds on it or feeds on what they excrete. Um, what you're saying is they exist to sort of feed others and also to eat some stuff. That's well, yeah, they control the population of other fish and species that might otherwise be a problem. Okay, well, let's let's kind of wrap this up, right? Um, the question that, that I'm asking today is, do we need them? Say if, say if um, Noah yeah. had his ark, <laughs> right? You're, you know, you've swam and got on the boat, you're all right, you're safe, he's going to keep you to sort of populate the world as well. Right, so it's you and him. Uh-huh. He's not a bad-looking fella, so, so you're happy. Yeah. Um, he says to you, Vicky, uh, do we need him? Absolutely. Mm. I don't even know why she even gave you that interview. When you start off with, right, yeah, trying to find out if I need you, but what did you tell her to get her to talk to you? Just, uh, just said I'm doing some research on stuff. Uh... Did she think you were a schoolboy or something? No, she just, she just said, oh, all right. She said, you know, how long will it go on? I said, not long. Just, like, five minutes to have a quick chat. And she was, she was, loved it, didn't she? She sounded happy to take part in that. So, the fact I love the fact that you've got an expert and you, you suggest that she's gonna be having sex with Noah. <laughs> He's a good little fellow, so you're happy. She goes, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you stopped there. I didn't go into <laughs> positions or something. I, I, I can't be- The I, problem I, is, really, I didn't get to the bottom what, of what I wanted to say because- Oh, no, you did. That's it. That's, uh, that's done I've, now. I've that's, that's a, a pretty good academic work. That's proved, yeah. No, but the turtle thing, you know, when she said, oh, if you get rid of them, the turtles, you know, won't have anything to eat. But when she said that, I mean, I couldn't say it because it would have took her off and confused her, but- well, like, she's a scientist, she's easily confused. Well, say, yeah. like, when, when Suzanne is working, right, <laughs> I'm not a very good cook, so I always get, like, an Indian in. Right? What? <laughs> to do the cooking for you? <laughs> Don't you say that. <laughs> so, right, I'll have an Indian. Right, now, say if, for some reason, it closed, I'd get a Chinese. <laughs> so why, why don't the turtle just, there's loads of stuff in the sea. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't want to get too heavy on her, but, <laughs> That uh, is pretty deep. <laughs> oh, that is genius. But we'll look at, uh, But so the fact that she said, yes, you need, uh, you need jellyfish, yeah. does that mean that you've changed your, I mean, what I'm saying is, does her answer go? Does that stand? Yeah, it does, yeah. It does, does it? It does, yeah. Whatever that, I, I get the expert to say, I try and get them in a corner. Right, you try and, <laughs> yeah, argue yeah. into a corner. Argue them into a corner, but that time she wasn't having any of it, so we've got to carry on having them. Yeah. So in, right. in, in, in the new year, we'll be looking at octopus. Okay. okay. Huh? Yeah, great. Let's Brilliant. play some feeder. <laughs> Christmas. I think there's often... Carl with his Victoria Plum. I want to see a Victoria Plum. I want to know what it is. Is it, is it... Does it look like a little gnome? It's, it's a... It's a woman gnome. A female gnome? Yeah. A little gnome. Well, and... Yeah. Um, and, uh, did your mum collect gnomes? She likes anything gnomes. She likes fairies. She likes, uh, Indians. 
She collects all that stuff. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what she it is. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, like a proper Indian with all the head gear on. Or a Native American. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. likes anything with them on. Like, you know, it can be a fridge magnet. <laughs> it can be, uh, Yeah. Just, just anything. A lot of Native American wisdom is, is around the fridge magnet because they yeah. think it has special powers of adhesion. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, that's, you read some of their their, their <laughs> the writings, works, yeah. the great works. Um, now, uh, <laughs> it reminds me, talking of gnomes, um, he said to me in the week, he went, oh, did you see that programme on telly last night about dwarves and fellas without legs nicking cars? <laughs> and I went, no. He went, oh, it's amazing, right, because they haven't got legs in that. They scoot along and they can nip into a car like the Dukes of Hazzard. <laughs> <laughs> Explain more, Carl. <laughs> no, you see, I didn't see it. Someone else told me about it. Oh! That's what I said to you. I said, did you see it? Because I missed it. And it's about these, <laughs> these little fellas, um, who, uh, specialise in car nicking. <laughs> and the thing I wanted to know is, because this lad who sort of watched it, only watched half of it. Is he like said, you? Well, I said, I can understand how it's easy to get in, but then how do you get away? Because you can't reach the pedals. Yeah. Can there be two of them? But presumably he opens yeah, the car for someone else. Yeah, is it? What do you mean? What, so he's steering and he's like, right, press the brake a bit. And then there's, then there's one that's just legs, but without the top half. I don't understand <laughs> how this helps them, though. What are they, what, why are they, why does this make it easier for them to because steal Because they cars? can just get through the window really quickly, like in the Dukes of Hazzard. What? <laughs> Because their legs don't get in the way. Right. Do they just run? And just... But what do you mean run? the wind? I mean, what? So someone's driving along... No, I didn't see it. And this is why the I'm window asking open. you. I didn't, I didn't see it. Do they it. leap in when there's someone still driving the car? I don't know. Well, there's too many things left unanswered here. I well, can't well, go over Christmas someone's seen it and they can there. email in. But that's sort of... Miss <laughs> panicked you anyway, I imagine. I bet you were gutted you missed that programme, weren't you? Well, I would have, I'm interested in stuff like that, because I like <laughs> learning, which gets us on to educating Ricky. Oh, excellent. Slick. Uh, we've, had a, we've had a good year of stuff. Teaching we have, stuff. Well. Yeah, I've uh, learned a lot. Can you remember any of the Of course highlights? I can. There was a deaf girl and she hit her head and she could hear. Yeah. Um, there was also, um, some people who ate tomato sort of poisons on lead. There was also a fella who, a doctor who gave a blood transfusion, um, with some parrots from the pet store. Yeah. Um, because, uh, the doctor in America, and it was the olden days, when the lines were bad, said, give him his parents' blood, and the doctor this side thought said, give him some parents' blood. So that was true, <laughs> and that educated that me. That was fact. What have you got for us? Well, we've only got two, because I've taught you about jellyfish today, that yep. we need them, so we've only got two, two things to go at, and the, uh, the, I give them a little headline so you remember them, to make them snappy. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. the two headlines you've got, oh, what a catastrophe. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. and the second one is, well, you'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? <laughs> what? Well, you'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? You'd think it beat... No, you'd think it'd be... Yeah. You'd think it'd be Bughead, wouldn't you? Bughead. 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 This can't be... If this is anything with a, a bug living without a head, I'm not interested. Because we've done it. All you've right, done is well, let's, fun. Let's just do oh, what a cat. <laughs> so is that? Is well, do that one first. One. Which do one? Which one are we no, doing? No, do the bughead one. Right. Well, the bug, <laughs> the bughead one. Uh, well, we've we've talked a, a lot about animals, and aren't we without heads? <laughs> no, Surprisingly, you... we have. <laughs> I think a disproportionate amount on it. <laughs> if you're a new listener, this is the first time you listen. <laughs> you'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, we've done all that. We've done. We've covered uh, worms. The way if you cut their head off, it grows back. If you don't <laughs> cut too too high above its neck. <laughs> <laughs> We've covered <laughs> the chicken, um, the fella who blinked. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I can't go into it again. Right, let's not go into it again. Ah! We've had um, the chicken with no head that lived yeah. for eight months. Yep, and we've had, and we've cockroaches. had the cockroaches living for a week without an head. Right, right. okay. Well, it's, it's a bit more on on the cockroach front, really. Right. Um, they found right that if you get a cockroach, yeah. and you cut its head off, yeah. Right? Yep. And then you find a cockroach that's still got its head, but it hasn't got any legs. Right. Right? It's not over for both of them. Right? Because what you can do, you get the one that's got the legs. Right. With no head. Yep. Sort of running around. Get the one with the head. Uh-huh. Sit it on top of it. Right. Get a little tube. <laughs> okay. So that the fluids. So is this is this aunties go out of the Let room? Him finish. This is like Blue Peter. Let him you can get you can get this for Christmas. Right. You yeah. get a little tube. You sit that on top so the bodily fluids are still running between the two. Right. The head 
of the one on the top will control the feet of the one on the bottom. Okay. What about that? Good. And, uh, will it continue to live? Um, yeah. Okay, you don't know that for sure, do you? <laughs> that, that was just a, that was just no, a question out of the blue he wasn't expecting. That, yeah. what, what do you think of that? Good, yeah, it's great. Yeah, just a primitive nervous system that can, yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you expect us to be more impressed and excited by that? Well, did you fall off your chair when you read that? <laughs> You literally <laughs> topple off. Going, did you, Whoa, did you think you were going to be the Frankenstein of the insect world? Yeah. No, I just was thinking if they can do that, you know, with, with them, can with they do with humans? Because humans. Yeah. I, I also did a bit of research. Of course, on you did. did you ever? Did you, did you come to the um, sort of conclusion that apart from the moral aspect of it, well, that the human was probably more complicated than? Yeah, but do you know what I mean? Things things move on, don't they? Do you know Modern what I mean? science, Rick. You know, I had, I had Benetone as a kid. Now they've got PlayStation 2 and the difference in ten years They is have amazing. found that if, if you lose your head, a cockroach can live normally on your body, but not the other way around. Your head on its cannot control its legs because it's yeah. too complicated it's for too your confusing. brain. Uh, so, uh, it, yeah. Well, so then, then other research, because uh, I thought if you don't learn from that, I'll give you something else for course. free, right? Go on. Um, <laughs> free. That they uh, can clone people. Uh-huh. The only reason they don't do it, right? Say if like Ricky needed uh, a lung, right? They <laughs> could clone you and make you the same. But the only reason they don't want to do it is because it, it'd be a bit horrible, wouldn't it? So and it, and, and yeah. it would ta and it would take sort of eighteen years for me to get an adult lung. And there's all kinds of moral implications. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean, well, yeah? You well, hadn't thought so, of that. So, sorry, so, cos, uh, lest, lest we forget, Rick, <laughs> he ended with the only reason they don't do it is cos it's a bit horrible and that. <laughs> 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 Which scientist said that? Right, let's, let's that's that a then. quote. Right. Well, that that's you. not it. That's not the other one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No, 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 no. That was that was just you know. We've got another one to come. Oh, yeah. I Jesus can't wait. The, the headline again. What was the headline? The again? headline. Oh, what a cat toe strophy. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Mark. Yeah, a bit more kind talk. Yeah. This is from his um, covers album. This is called Snowbird. <laughs> he's so happy that the XMM listeners understand his stupid clues, and he knows it annoys me. We've well, got some right answers. We'll giving out the answers just quickly, just in case. Uh, Someone sort of missed one of them, I'll just quickly do them, yeah? Yeah, go on. First one, there's a load sure of letters. Show. <laughs> there's a load of letters there asking for advice, put them on Claire's desk. Oh, well, Merry Christmas. Uh, ask your mum if you should. Oh, well, Merry Christmas. And, uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket. It at was Christmas, and that's why. Counter. And that's B. OK, we'll give those answers out shortly. Yeah. I just have to show you something, Rick, before we move on. I know we've got another uh, Educating Ricky, but uh, someone just sent this in. Yeah. They've been looking on eBay yeah. for Victoria Plum. You're joking. Come here and see the photograph. Oh, God, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Show that. That's it. Oh, God, he got that for his mum! <laughs> it's the worst piece of tat I've ever oh, seen. Oh, Carl! Yeah, oh, Carl. Imagine how... Oh, Gutted. Oh, imagine how... Look, think of him now, right? Look, there it is! <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever seen. I tell you, it looks like a Diddy man gone wrong. It's it looks like a Diddy man prostitute. <laughs> that is. <laughs> That's a, is that the one color? That, well, it was a different color. It had a yellow at mine. <laughs> no, but look, how do they get? Tell them they okay, get so, um, going to eBay. So you need to uh, to log on to eBay.co.uk. I'm sure you've used it before. It's the uh, online marketplace eBay.co.uk. And if you type in Victoria Plum, I'm assuming that you can <laughs> grab his yeah. That's amazing. It's the worst piece of rubbish. Oh, I've just ever think seen. how cute he was as a kid, though, doing that. Just think of him, just going. <laughs> just that was just, just seeing that and thinking, oh, I like <laughs> he likes gnomes. <laughs> it's the worst thing I've ever seen. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what her prize collection of gnomes looks like, but I can't imagine. They're much better than that. I mean, gnomes are a fairly oh. grotesque thing. Oh. But certainly your mum's taste and discretion is, is- Did you have any- did you have a, those houses on your estate? You'd go in there and it was just loads of those dolls still in their packaging all around the room. And sort of like, one of those homes that all, keeps the, uh, sort of packaging on the three-piece suite. Why don't you buy another one for her for Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> it's three ninety-nine. it looks but it's, 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 That's two pounds <laughs> forty-nine. Cause that was three ninety nine dollars Oh, buy it, Carl. No, cause I've got her, I've sorted out her passport this year anyway. I'll get her that next year. Right, <laughs> so listen, right. right? Okay. So, <laughs> last educating Ricky of the year. Oh, Christ. Um, what a cat toast. Yeah, let's do that then. Right. <laughs> Victoria Plum. There's this woman, right? 
<laughs> yeah. This woman, she's reading, uh, Guinness Book of Records. Yeah. And, um, she- she's flicking through. Yeah. And she notices that there's a world record for a cat, right, with, uh, 27, uh, toes. Right. <laughs> so she reads it and she thinks, well, that's not right. Cos her cat's got 28. <laughs> What do you mean a cat's got 28? A cat, a, a cat's got 28 toes. So she was like, well hang on a minute, mine should be in there. So there was oh, like- I missed the very beginning of this. She, she was- She, 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 she was looking to the Guinness Book of Records. Oh, the, the, the record. woman. Yeah, yeah. Woman was yeah. The, Guinness Guinness the woman with the cat with 28 toes looking right. through and it said the record for uh, the cat's toes was 27. She thought, hold on. <laughs> hold on a minute, Ross McWhirter. <laughs> <laughs> My cat's got one more than that cat, so go on. Um, anyway, so she said, uh, you know, the person doing the interview with her said, you know, is it happy? And, uh, she said, yeah, yeah, you know, she, it, it's great, and it, it's, it's really good in the snow. <laughs> right. It gets through a lot of nail varnish. Well, you yeah, know, that's, that's what it said, right? It said it's really good in the snow. So, I just was thinking, uh, I mean, that's it, really. That's, that's it, not it. That's the end of that story. But Brilliant. What but what I'm thinking is, like, it was she, two cats welded together. No, she she said, uh, you know, it's happy. So, is the other sort of disabilities where, in a way, it's not all bad? Oh Christ! <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know like that book Steve brought in for me? And yeah. there was a fella there, wasn't he? Who had three legs. Who was a juggler? <laughs> and I was like, what's the point of that? What do you mean, what's the point of that? What's the point well, of what? he's not taking advantage of having three legs, is he, being a juggler? <laughs> he said he should be a footballer. Right? So... <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but in a way, he's used it, hasn't he? He's probably not even that good at juggling. But, because he's got three legs, people have gone, well, I'll give him a chance. Let's go and see him anyway, see if he's any good. Yeah. Right? So, what I'm thinking is, is he anything else? We've mentioned, uh, the, the midgets today who are good at rubbing cars. Uh-huh. Because they can get through the windows like Duke's advisors. Sorry, sorry, so listen, listen. I, I, look, um, I'd just like to say, this is the Radio Authority listening, we are in no way suggesting that one uh, midget's forte in life is robbing cars, no, or no, that no, if no, you're no. a midget sitting at home feeling sorry for something, you should go out robbing cars. I'd no. just like to say, this is oh. Carl Pilkington talking. No, the no, views no. of Carl Pilkington are yeah, yeah. not necessarily <laughs> 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 those of XFM <laughs> or us. Yeah, no, but it was a TV programme, so it's not me, I'm just saying what I've seen on television. That you didn't see. That somebody told me about. Yeah, so you could be wrong, just like a lot of your spurious facts yeah. you just see on the internet, you well, know. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, is there anything else? We've seen the fellow with three legs. So what you're saying is, is there a disability that is actually an advantage? Yeah. Right, you know I mean? okay. Steve mentioned about the disabled Lou. They're always really roomy and like got multi-gym facilities <laughs> in them. <laughs> multi-gym facilities! Oh, no, Multi-gym facilities! <laughs> What do you mean, Carl? There's always bars everywhere and that, isn't there? That's not parallel bars. Yeah, That's they the don't do the gymnastics. They're what are you yeah, working yeah, out? I'm just, I'm just saying, though. Do you know what I mean? So, in a way, they've, they've got that. So, always, what I'm saying is, when you look on the brighter side, <laughs> that elephant man would have never got up and gone, oh, look at me hair today. <laughs> <laughs> Nor do you. No, but, do you know what I mean? <laughs> He, he, he would never have that problem. You're a maniac. Forget it. I thought <laughs> we'd be able to get a serious discussion going here. <laughs> well, okay then. So, this is a serious discussion, is it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's treat it sensitively then. If you really want a serious discussion and talk about whether there are some disabilities that are an advantage, let, let, let's, let's, let's think of some then, shall we? Well, I've, I've said three already. <sighs> yeah. You can't say, um, uh, uh, if you're deaf, um, uh, Bobby Davro won't annoy you. That doesn't count as an advantage. Do you understand? Do you know what I mean? Carl's looking at you thinking, that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll leave it then. I'll come <laughs> up with a better feature for next year. Oh. We'll, we'll bin that, we'll bin that. <laughs> oh, so, God. So you've got any disabilities. We've been that, like that was gonna be a feature. <laughs> what, you were hoping that that would be a spin-off feature? Disabilities well, are actually well, it's an another form of do we need them? It's like but that's Carl. Think of it. It's like that. It's like that joke. A bloke that as his wakes up in hospital says, "Good news and bad news. Bad news is we've had to amputate both legs. What's the good news? The oh. fellow in the next bed wants to buy you slippers. See, that's not an advantage. Oh. It's a joke. That doesn't really happen. People don't go. Oh, that is good news. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably get a quid from. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but the fellow with three feet, what would he do? Well, he'd buy a pair and then just nick one of those because they put out one shoe, don't they? Are those, um, yeah, if you've got one leg, you can nick shoes. Mm. Good point, right, Carl. Now, now I'm getting you thinking. Yeah. Right, so we'll do Rockbusters answers next then. Happy Christmas, war's over and all that. Indeed. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant tune. 
Gritchy and well, I've, had, I've had a great time. I've had a great time. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope we haven't offended you by some of Carl's rantings. Just think, just, just think of what he's gone through in his life. That right. Victoria Plum incident. Carl, I've got a little gift for you here before we go. Oh, he's okay. Uh, I haven't got you anything. Well, no, I don't, you haven't got your girlfriend anything. I wasn't expecting much. <laughs> It's not, it's not, uh, exciting, but it's worth taking. In fact, you could, why don't you just re-gift that straight away? It's alright, cheers for that. Champ yeah. It doesn't even look at it. It's champagne, champagne, yeah. champagne, champagne. And that's not the champagne we got free from the BBC, is it? It's not actually, no, Rick, because, um, that is far too good for the likes of Carl. Oh, right. And I wasn't gonna give it to me, you wouldn't appreciate it, that's just sparkling wine. Oh, though. brilliant, oh, I love that. Yeah, you won't, you didn't know, you're different. Um, um, I'm seeing Carl on Christmas Day, cos, uh, he's around Christmas Day in London, so I'll, I'll, I'll get a little gift then, Carl. All right. That'd be good, wouldn't it? It'd be a nice little... Okay, answers. We must give the answers. You would have to go to bed at six, though, right. so we can play. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the last clues of the year. You had, uh, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Go that on, was no F. Idea. That was for Foreigner. For Rainer. I don't know what you mean. Claire Rayner, she took advice, she gave people advice, so that's a foreigner. I that is shit. Right. I'm sorry, that <laughs> might be Christmas, that is absolute dark. A lot of people got the right answer. I know, yeah, well, well that annoys right, me well. even more. Number the two. second one, ask your mum. Foreigner. Yeah. Foreigner. Um, second one, ask your mum if you should. That was S, that was Shalimar. 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 Right? No, bizarrely, what was the clue there? Ask your mum if you should. Now, we got a lot of people saying Smashing Pumpkins as the answer to that. <laughs> but I don't know who's saying that today, mum. Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, mum. Smashing Thanks Pumpkins. Thanks very much. Nice bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> oh, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> that's great. Right. Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> your dad bought them for me for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And the last one, um... <laughs> Lovely plums. <laughs> <laughs> what my Victoria's? <laughs> oh God! Right, we've got to wrap uh, it up. We've got to wrap it up. Come on then. Uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. <laughs> that was B. That was banana drama. They were like having an argument. What do you mean banana drama? drama? <laughs> what, no, wait, 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 wait. What group is banana drama? What group is banana drama? So. You're a fool. You're a twat. <laughs> well, you say that, but you accuse her, you accuse Carl of that. You're also accusing lots of the listeners, including the winner, yeah. Nicola Rogers, uh, of London. And she wins those great prizes, and she got them bang on, so. Banana so drama. Well, so, can we finish there now? Yeah. yeah what do you mean? Do. What do you mean, can we finish there now? Just, just play the ads and go. What? No, we're, what are you talking about? We're going to play Jamie Mitchell. We're going to play that then. Good Goodness, we're going. Oh, look at you. Well, we haven't got time. Merry Christmas, Carl. Merry Christmas, Carl. Enjoy the show.